I love so much to watch Water Show. You're watching What A Show. A cyberbully? Oh my, what will they think of next? If you need anything, please do not hesitate to push the purple button to your left. An attendant will be with you shortly. My mother-in-law is always up my ass about how I spend my day. I can't help but chuckle because me? I'm watching What A Show on Twitch.tv. Heavens, look at the time. It's nearly What A Show. I wonder what Charlotte and Patrick will get up to today. I hope it's Craigslist. I think the mods should be allowed to ban people, if it's funny. What's that? A show? Never thought I'd see the day. Heavens, look at the time. It's nearly what a show. Sometimes I wonder whether Patrick is actually hurting Charlotte's feelings, or if it's all one big joke. Fascinating. Quiet, darling. What a show is about to start. Alright, let's wrap it up. Ah, uh, the French water show. I miss the Patrick is afraid of bones era. It's just not the same show anymore. If I was Charlotte, I'd simply get a better computer. It doesn't seem all that complicated.
If What A Show were ever to fully solve its technical issues, I imagine I would have to stop watching. Oh god, it's What A Show. And it's headed right towards us. What do you think Charlotte dreams of? Is it pleasant? Frankly, I'm here for Waylon and Gatito. You know, back in my day, we didn't have anime sex noises. It's what a show time. It's what a show. What? A show? I for one do hope they play copyrighted music. I lost Inside Gaming again for this? It's Charlotte and Patrick, again. I do wonder if the screen will be covered in screenshots and garbage today. Uh, sickos, hello and welcome. Mm -hmm. um, first responders all. First responders all. And um, we give thanks to the second Oh, are we responders. opening with a prayer? Oh, no. We can. Oh, okay. I thought, I no, I no, it's fine. I it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. I, mean, I just thought that's where you were going with it. It seemed like that's where you're going, but it's totally fine. We if you don't want to do that, do you want to do that's like, totally okay. Do you want to, well, I mean, if you want to pop off a prayer, I wouldn't be mad. No, 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 it's fine. That's okay, more your thing. It seems like you don't want to. It seems like you're. Well, it's using... kind of your thing. I don't. I don't know if it's. My I don't thing. need it. I don't think. I don't think him belongs to anyone. But in the context of both of us, you're the you're kind of the believer, right? The faithful. Yeah, I guess you. I guess. Um, I guess I am a born follower. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I, I mean, guess there's a there's a there's it. a certain like I mean, there's a comfort in a uh in knowing that, right? Um, well, you know, there's a powerful thing in in movements and revolution about the the whoever second, you know, the first sure. follower. For, the kind of Long they're forgotten the to history, but they have serve an important role. Do you, right? Do you think I'm gonna be forgotten? Yeah, I mean, I I will. Who is too. the first apostle? Go. Exactly. Wrong. Exactly. It was, it was Paul. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. Wasn't uh, it? Because he makes Saul into Paul. 
I thought it was Jeremy. Might be Jeremy, actually. Well, you know, he turned Jeremy into Jeremy. Oh, you know what I was going to tell you earlier? I was coming to your office to tell you this, and I, I you weren't there, and then I saw you coming back with lunch, and I saw you, and I was like, I was going to tell you something, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, do you remember this today? I do, yeah. I was just coming out of the office. So what it, what it was, was a... Uh, it was uh, Thayed and King. You stand alone, dude. <laughs> Long-term success in network marketing. That's yeah. what it was. That's, uh, that's what I came to your office to tell you, and that, was so disappointed I mean, that, that you weren't really there. Great. What I wanted to tell you yesterday yeah, yeah. when watching the movie uh, was a conversation mm -hmm. we had offline that will stay so. It was really important, and I felt so, like, bottled up, you know? Uh, I also want to shout say, out. Say again. Um, what was that? The thing, the circus thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fight Haver and Good Time Haver have both Whoa, resubscribed. One for 31 That's remarkable, months. remarkable, right? One for 21 months. You know, we've been fighting and we've been having a good time, but we've been having mm -hmm. a good time for a little bit less. The the first 10 months of fighting were pretty brutal. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we were talking offline uh, uh, before we came to, to you all, hat in hand, yep. live. And... Um, I've been building something of a menagerie of guys. Um, kind of a library of Alexandria li library, for guys. Exactly, yeah. Sort of a um, – it's, a, it's a, a freak show. Can we still say freak show? Uh, I have no problem with it. Okay, I'm, I'm not it. certain what the culture is saying right now, but I'm, I'm willing to allow it. So yeah. it's a – do you mind saying then that it's that? Just since you're so, you okay already with it. you already did it, and I wouldn't presume to I step in. I did so. it because I was asking. You're the one who said the F show. I was asking. So I I, I won't. Show. You know, I don't, <laughs> don't want to. That's like uh, F Boy Island, which like yeah, not even not even even in an ironic way. My first thought when I saw a Billboard was like Fem Boy Island. <laughs> Can they do that? Maybe a more I interesting show. I would watch show. the fuck out of that. Are you kidding yeah. me, Fem Boy Island? That's an interesting idea. Now, we've talked before and recently as well. I know we're getting off topic. I know it's something you wanted to say here. But, I forget what it was. Uh, I feel this is, this oh, is more important. But go on. We were, we were musing um, the other day of would we ever be able to write something together? Yes. Yeah. Just with our – because I, I had – I was kind of doubtful. And you said, no, I think we would. And then we both agreed that it would be very fun. But – um. We were just kind of discussing that uh, that concept of would we would the two of us be able to sit down and write like a, a I don't know, uh, say a, a pilot, pilot or a movie, sure. whatever it is, you know. Um, and I think maybe that's it. Femboy Island. Now I take I take a uh, I'm as involved in the writing as you, right? Uh -huh. I am nowhere near the promotion. Uh -huh. And honestly, I don't know that I don't know that you should be either, but I think it's, you know, yeah. At, at least you all fall under this this uh marketing comes all I don't think what are letters um, when Well, no, femboys are not uh, part of LGBT. It's a totally different Wait, thing. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it's like a to it's like a totally different thing. God damn. It. Well, what is that then? What is it? I don't know. They won't tell. You have no trying, idea what it is. The whole community, no is, in an, the whole community is in an uproar. <laughs> you know, the, we've been, there's I mean, well, currently. We're trying that, to get the uh, Fem Boys to come back to the table. Uh huh. And talk this um, out. Last I heard, they had settled on consortium. Oh. The consortium, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm nowhere near. You would not know that I was involved. Um, right. Yeah. If not, <laughs> Well, yeah, you're you're um, not a ghostwriter. What's the, the invisible invisible partner? Mm -hmm. Like else? you know when you look up. Like I remember, I would like look up when I was a kid. I I see uh, I see the I see Fight Club, and I'm like, wow, Fight Club, mm -hmm. what a movie. Yeah. What a, it's 1990, whatever it is, when 2000 when I see it, I'm like, wow, what a movie. And I I get online and I look it up, and. uh I see there's a there's an uncredited the guy who wrote seven. This is so strange that I remember this detail. Uh -huh. The guy who wrote seven did some uncredited rewrites on it. Wow. And I'm thinking, how does that even work? How That's do you just huge. do uncredited rewrites on a movie? And you don't you don't get the credit nothing? 
Maybe nothing. he thought he was going to be a real stinker. I don't know what it is. I think it, I, there must just be a thing where, like, like obviously you're getting paid, but how does that work? That you just like because then you see Marvel movies or or like a newer Star Wars, any like big movie where it's like six. Like I think Rogue One has like six credited writers. Mm-hmm. And it's not like they all sat down together in a room and wrote this movie. It was like someone wrote a first draft, then someone took that and did a new one. And like, even if the movie is, even if not a single word of what ended up in the movie is in that first draft, I think they still get like credited as a writer because they did a draft of it and were like mm-hmm. contracted to do a draft of it. Not like it wasn't like a pitch, you know, it was like a whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so, how does that happen? But then doing right. rewrites, you don't get credit. So okay, actually, sometimes, but sometimes you do. It's in, it's interesting, actually. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe okay. it's busted up like the video game industry where you can work on a game for like six years, but if you like move to a different job before release, uh, Rockstar, you're off you the go, credits. You're off the credits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. That's cool. Um, also, Anonymous Otter One gifted a tier one sub to Solar Adrift and Raybird Hopper. Subscribe for a 28th month. There we go. That's crazy. Did you know that? I, I didn't know Are you that. aware of this? I, I, I mean, I'm just finding out, so. I think we could. I think I'm with you could, here, yeah. I think we could write something together. Well, I think mm-hmm. we could have a really great idea and then just kind of like talk about getting to get talk about getting together. And then I think we like would get eight hung up. Later, we would kind of hang out. We would get hung up on the stupidest shit that would basically drag the entire thing to a halt. And it would it would be like word choice. Like a disagreement or just that we're so fascinated with one piece of this tapestry. No, it'd be no like a dis well, I think both. I but I think this I think the latter part is fun and would right. be fun. Yes. I think the fur the former where uh, I think that that would be like a a real I don't think we'd get like ang- I don't you know, I'm not saying we'd get angry, but like I mean, I words, think we, words, we'll say things we regret. I mean, we've done this before where we are like, it, just for like videos and stuff where mm-hmm. you think something is very funny and I'm like, it's not funny unless you do this. It's not, in fact, it's not funny at all unless you do this. Yeah. And, and you know I'll what I mean? Probably, like I, that I type. think in that situation, I'd probably be like, okay. <laughs> sure because you would you would probably let most things fly but this one thing you'd be like i'm fucking telling you this only works well apparently on young frankenstein yeah uh gene wilder wanted frankenstein to do a song and dance routine which was yeah, that's the, put the, on the Ritz. yes but, yeah um fucking uh mel brooks was like absolutely not we are not fucking doing mm-hmm. it and apparently like they almost like, came to blows because he was like i'm not putting that in the movie he's like you have to put it in the goddamn movie and he was he was right yeah he was right i mean that's that's the i think that's the kind of thing i'm talking about maybe not to that extreme i think but, we are um, of the greats definitely but we are on their we are on their level certainly i'm Spe- not disagreeing oh, with speaking that of things we could tackle together uh-huh you didn't respond to my text um dick's last resort but for haircuts yeah i mean i i didn't <laughs> quite okay do you do you want me to like do you want me to pitch it pitch it and i'll okay. see if i'm dick's I'm last a shark. resort it's famous i mean hello I am, yeah. shark hello shark's tank yeah. shark possessive yeah. um mm-hmm. I come today with an amazing op- opportunity, an amazing idea. Are you aware of the chain restaurant Dick's Last Resort? Uh, of mean- course, it's a it's a restaurant where the waiters are mean to you. They mm-hmm. bully you. Yeah, it's just, kind of a tourist restaurant. They're dicks. Yes. And you, you can get like a hat. Yeah, it's it's in it's yeah. in the similar echelon as a uh, bu- uh, Bubba Gump Shrimp Company or uh, uh, yeah, it's a gimmick restaurant or. I, I hesitate to say Rainforest Cafe because they do it so well and with such obvious respect for the whole mm-hmm. rainforest. Um, Dick's Last Resort, they're kind of mean to you. I was thinking, long term success and network You go to, it's like a sports cut clip or whatever, right? And I mean, like, because mm-hmm. I've noticed, like, guys be having a lot of hair lately. The boys grew it out during COVID. 
and and some of the yeah. fellas are kind of rocking some flow. So what if you go in yeah. and it's like a first of all the barber, she's a smoke show, um, kind of oh. scary, and all the while she's like denigrating this man in the chair and yeah, yeah. maybe for fun like along the way like it ends up with a good haircut right with a solid mm -hmm. classic cut but along the way she's doing all these crazy things like giving him micro bangs or like putting in extensions and like doing and, it, and being like damn man you look like shit and just like you're a fucking asshole you bit you i never ate a dick's last resort but i think i get it but it's like Can i, I think you you're question? i think you're filth and then but then they turn around and it ends up being like a good haircut, but the road is, is a, it's a rocky curvy road. It's like that road in San Francisco where it goes. Ew, 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 ew. Can I ask you a question that's yeah. not related to this idea? Do you have a, uh, do you have a humiliation kink? I don't want to get my hair it's cut not there. It's not related. It's not related to your, to your business idea at all. I don't want to get my hair cut there. No, no, no. It's just I'm just trying to get in the mind of someone. I'm who thinking pitched, but it's that not related. It's not America related. has a humiliation kink. Mm -hmm. Where you live, where you're from. Um, <laughs> Low blow. You too. Might I remind so, you are an American, a red-blooded, humiliated I mean, American. It's so close to Canada. Can you really say? Oh, that, would you, you know, rather be a Canadian? Can you really say? Really? Of course not. Is that what of you course want? not. Okay. Please. So. Come on. Laney PG and Chelsea Rose subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm just wondering if this is like. <laughs> well, then you could maybe, say the same about people first that go of all, to what eat else at did Dick's you Last Resort. What else did you mention? You, I, I didn't. You didn't pitch Dick's Last Resort to me. You pitched this business where, first of all, you mentioned <laughs> smoke shows, which number one. Okay, I know you love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you do too. I'm not. Again, I'm not pitching this idea. <laughs> So I'm just I'm <laughs> I don't uh, yeah, have to I don't defend know, myself. I, I, I didn't I didn't bring you the idea where you told me a bunch of things you like, and then part of that is being humiliated uh, by smoke shows. It's not for me. You don't go in Shark Tank and be like, I have a great idea for something you should pay for for me to do. It's like making like a new baby seat that that yells when the kid shits yeah. you know yeah totally and totally <laughs> you didn't pitch me a baby seat though <laughs> is the thing right you pitched me this like humiliation kink haircut thing with well, smoke I, show I dominatrix as you cut your hair <laughs> i mean if that's the angle you need for it to take for an angel investment then yeah it can be that I we mean, can that, do that. This is if what that's... you pitched me. This is exactly what you pitched me. I'm not adding anything here. Okay. Okay. I think let's take let's take a let's take a couple steps back. Okay. I do not have a humiliation kink. Okay. Next question. That that's not okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> oh, it's it's not the answer you're expecting, so you're not satisfied. I just think it's so easy to lie these days. <laughs> Oh. maybe yeah. maybe easier than ever um because uh -huh. of our phones uh actually that's facts i, I mean i'm not gonna yeah not facts gonna facts 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 that. no, that's facts big facts huge okay um here's the other thing you also mentioned like bangs i'm looking at you right now you know this i think those not... are I'm, this is not necessarily I think those are bangs. the same kind of yeah, but my hair is like bangs all around. It could very easily be cut into a bowl cut. Right, so it becomes a longer time in the chair for you to get like <laughs> humiliated by this smoke show or whatever. The cutting is not really what takes the longest time. It's like the the the, the blowout and styling at the end. And sure, that's just for me sure. getting my hair cut. I don't get my hair cut at Clips Last Resort. That's your pitch. No, that's Did your I name. not mention I that I feel like earlier? there's no. That I is, think, yeah, and I think that might bring up some legal issues that we need to <laughs> think about too. Uh, oh, with the Clippers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. I feel like you're not accepting this in good faith, and I will take I will take it to one of the surely many other uh, investor shows with humiliation kinks. It's not a humiliation. I mean, if it, it, it would be a great thing for someone that is into that within reason 
you know, mm-hmm. to enjoy it like the same way someone with a circus kink would enjoy like Barnum and Bailey. Like you can't allow somebody in there just go like, you know, success you know, really going, going for it, you know, jumping people. through the flaming hoop as it were. Um, but you can have someone that's sure. like, this gets my, my, my wheels turning pizza taco 13. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah. I'm just, I, I am trying to understand, is this what gets your wheels turning then is what I'm, you know what I mean? Cause that's how you, you kind of described it and I could see you sweating and there was like a nervous, like you really needed this to happen. First of all, I'm on a medication um, that makes me sweat and, and also took my fear away. <laughs> So okay, so you're now without fear, which is why you need someone <laughs> I to need berate someone... you. Well, no, I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. I don't need that. I have plenty of yeah. people in my life that berate me for free. If you were not aware. Yes. Well, now I'm kind of reconsidering because what are you getting out of it? I, you know, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's an easy target, but maybe. You think? Oh, you that, think that like you know, if it came to if it if it came to light that actually like I was really into that. It, you you think that with that kind of reveal, it, it would be a salt burn. You think? Where when you realize everything wasn't as sure. you thought it was, it's a crazy twist. <laughs> no, no, no. Because a salt burn is when everything is exactly as no, you thought it no, was. No, because actually yeah. the guy who was a crazy little freak turns out to be a crazy little freak. Yeah, and it's and, revealed as a twist. But it's a twist. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. It's is that what's playing in this this that's playing in this store twenty four seven? Just salt seven burn? TVs with salt burn <laughs> running at all times. Well, the one scene, yeah. There's a candy store I've been to somewhere that uh plays the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka like from the moment they open till the moment they close on loop, which I just like. What a what a extraordinary hell. That's insane. Um, because I almost think, like, I'm trying to think of a movie I really, really hate. Uh, Princess Bride? No, I mean, I, I don't like that movie. What do you mean? But hate? I don't like, 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 really, really bothered. Like, I really don't like it at all. I think it's awful. Um, hmm. which I don't feel bad about that movie. It's just not, I just don't like it. And because it's so beloved, that it brings me, uh, it troubles sometimes. Hmm. Um, but it's, I wouldn't say I'd like hate the movie. It's just kind of, well, yeah, what did I like? like what, what else do you hate? I don't know. Anyway, my point is, I wonder if it's worse if you're locked, if you, if you die and it turns out you've been a very bad girl indeed. Uh, and you, <laughs> why do I have to die? And you're being punished. Uh, do they in hell? Oh, do they, um, I see. Okay. Is it worse to like have some horrible movie? Like, they sit you down in a chair and put on the TV, and it's like, you're going to watch this for eternity. And it's yeah. a movie you just can't stand that you hate. Yeah. Or is it is it worse if it's something you loved? I think either way. Because by the fifth consecutive viewing, you're like, I'm going to lose my mind. And by the end, it's it's morphed. Right. I think either way, I lose my mind, and those people become real to me. Sure. Um. So I think that was my I'd other rather is like a movie I like. Like I think, like you know what I, if I you know why I think it doesn't work. Like my buddies from uh, from Hot Rod, Andy. That's Sandberg, the one. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Bill Hader, Ian McShane. That it. Oh, okay. Amy Adams. I think. Uh, Will Arnett. I think what would Chris happen? Parnell. I think the reason it doesn't work, what I said, is because you would hate. You would learn to hate that movie so fast that it wouldn't really make that much of a difference. Yeah. You know. I think after I think after like four or five, you hate that movie now. I think it's a bad torture. Ultimately, watching sure, the same yeah, thing yeah. forever. Mm-hmm. I mean, I agree. I feel like uh, I don't know what would see. I just because the thing about me is I just I love I love the pictures. You know, I love film, and mm-hmm. so the the opportunity to spend the rest of time watching even something I don't like would be an absolute pleasure. It's such a of, pleasure. Yeah. To kind of like to joy to Marvel in the, and, and it well, it's Eric Quantumania. Roberts stalked by my doctor. Oh, well, then that's the, fine. Yeah, that's the baby. You know, we got to oh, get okay. together and watch that sequel. 
Did we watch the second one? No, we rolled right into it, but Denise was very much not enjoying it and said we had to turn it off. So I think that's when we maybe started 300. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. We, I thought we watched two back to back. No, but yeah, we, we might we have just watched start else. the second one, which if I remember correctly, picks up pretty quickly after the first one. Yeah. Um, and then Denise said, "No, you can't have this on the TV anymore." Right. Sure. So we had, sure. We had to turn it off. Uh, boo! Yeah, get uh, out of uh, here. She was right. Uh, the first one also is hard to top. So, like, you know, rolling right into the second, you don't really want to do that with so many movies you haven't seen before. How many are there? It's talked by my doctor collection on the movie database. Also, good time There's never. Like, oh my god! Most, wait, how many are there? One, two, three, four. There's five at least. No, no, no. Are you sure we didn't? Or because I remember this, he saves a girl from drowning and then falls in love with her. Is that the second one? Yeah. I think we got like twenty minutes into it, in which case you probably oh. get most of the film, like the gotcha. synopsis before it just becomes Eric Roberts standing at a distance and showing up where he's not welcome. Um, okay. the 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 second to last one is called "Stalked by My Doctor: A Sleepwalker's Nightmare." Sleep oh, hang on! Listen to this one. Here's the most recent one. Just what the doctor ordered. Having escaped from the psychiatric prison, uh, Eric Roberts hides out in an empty house until its new owners unexpectedly arrive to move in. Forced (laughs) into the attic to evade the recently widowed mother, he watches from above. And then the next sentence is really gross, and I'm not going to say Make a face like you're reading it. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. That's interesting. So I'm on tiermaker.com. I thought maybe we could rank something. And I searched okay. Eric Roberts, and the uh, okay. things that come up are K-pop idols, male, um, Eric Cartman outfits, rock guitarists, and the boys, Eric Hair. Um, oh, wait, what was the last one? The boys, Eric Hair. I don't know who Eric is in the boys. Oh, I'm I'm not loving those options, to be quite honest. Well, what quite about frank. what about ranking fruit? What is this website? We could rank fruit. What is the website again? Just Tier Maker. That's where we did Tier Maker, that's it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I remember. I was just, I just want to see the... Cause I'm I'm, down, fruit I'm sounds good. Fruit, I mean, fruit's good because everyone can understand it. We could also do Dan Gun Run Puck characters. <laughs> we can do that, All yeah. We could do Genshin playable characters. Yeah, what's up, um, female cartoon hotties. That's an option on Jay here. Jay said we should rank tier lists. <laughs> <laughs> And Caitlin's also subscribed. See all cartoon templates. The ultimate cartoon crush tier list. Parentheses girl edition. Ugh, what does that mean? I don't know. What about ranking what about ranking um subplots in the Night at the Museum movies? I've not seen them. Seen I've seen I think I've seen one. Why does Genshin Impact have its own category? I don't know, Jojo. Oh, how about this? Top 25 jugadores NBA draft drafteados. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds like a plan. Um, <laughs> what else? What else you got? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just looking. I'm. I mean, I'm down to do fruit. There's also. Did you see female cartoon hotties? Yeah, that was on the main page. I'm not seeing it. I clicked out though. I'm not seeing it anymore. Ninja Ninjago characters. Uh, what San about Jose Fitz? Yeah. There's one that's just called Funny. And there's a picture of uh, Dan- oh, God damn it, what's his name? Danny DeVito. Oh, there's funny. one just called. There's one that's just called India. Oh, it's a category. Ah, okay. What about miraculous so ladybug characters? The fuck does that mean? It's a show, I guess, called Miraculous. I see. Ladybug I see. Characters. Um, <laughs> top five we could rank articles. Le Rap Francois. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Let's let's do fruit. All right. And then if uh, if people know good ones, oh, dude archetypes. Are there kinds of guys? Sonic characters. Someone's oh, every dude you will ever meet. I don't know. Is that any good? I no, feel like no it's going to be like one of those uh, kind of starter kit memes, you know? 
going to just say guy. This yeah. Okay, this one's called Chips for Big Guy. Okay, I'm listening. It's Chips, but I think you have to assume they're for Big Guy. Oh. So here, okay, let me no, share that's interesting, obviously. I think we could actually, I think ranking Chips sounds like a pretty solid idea. Also, wow, Discord's Some going these... crazy slow. It, Myers-Briggs tier list. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, is that even is that what this is? Ranking every person. Uh, what does this mean? Ranking every person I had to work in a group is project this? with in my business minor by Myers Brick results. What is this one? Uri Husbandos. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta we gotta pick one. <laughs> I just didn't know if you were a, maybe a Spanish speaking furry looking for a husbando. Uh, I think I think we got Los Cheeps. uh yeah let's just do one there's a russian one that looks like i can't i don't know what it says but it looks like it might be some type of pornography video game okay cool let's do chips okay okay yeah the guys podcast i think is um brian what's his name he's friends with the chapo guys they just had him on for the Daily Wire movie. Uh, I, don't I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, um, let's rank religions. That would be really. That's a really good idea. So this one's got it's got a few different kinds of flavors that I've never had, but Wait. I think we can kind of muddle our way through. Okay. Um, and remember, this is we're not ranking chips. We're ranking chips for big guy yes okay so i'm gonna make i'm gonna pop off a real a little story can you share your screen i think i am you are <laughs> okay so small. we could also at some point do vegetables which would get very heated make more so than fruit i mean i'm just gonna put them all in half stinky Stinky vegetables. Right. Listen, I'm making a I'm making a social media post. Oh wow! So you can um, you can banter for a second. Okay, where's this going? Instagram. Exactly. What? Oh, Instagram. Okay, Instagram. fantastic. So no one will see it. I don't appreciate that. I get I get solid engagement. <laughs> Really, what is is a real shame? What happens with Twitter, huh? Yeah, uh, but also I I I don't I do miss it some of the time. Mm hmm. Um, because I don't I don't get the right like the same kind of like pure just fucking psycho behavior, guys. Like, I feel like I'm missing a lot of what's going on. But to return to an earlier point. I am, since I've been using Instagram more, have been getting some of the most insane ads I've ever seen on the internet. Um, yeah, it's incredible. And uh, you've, you're collecting them. I'm, gonna, I'm collecting them. Us. I've been screen record, recording stories, uh, saving them into a folder because I realized that I can usually find the story as a reel. It's all stuff that's been mm -hmm. sponsored, a paid promotion to be put in front of my eyes. And I will mm -hmm. be uh, collecting it into a Google presentation slides google slides i don't know um, i'm telling you i'm i'll be presenting my findings here on what a show maybe next week if i can find the time to compile everything and also i'm not going to be showing everything i found and we are going to want to like dive into a few of these guys there's uh entrepreneurs workout guys rise and grind people yep. uh there's that one dude that was talking about the difference between mercy and grace there's so much um but i do miss nothing quite hit like twitter I'm so jealous of your algorithm or whatever it is that's I showing know, you that. It's incredible. Uh, I think I figured out some of some of my problem with the reason I don't get funny shit. But I don't know if I did this on Instagram. Is I do tend to go into the settings and say like you can't use my like mm. you can't use whatever it is you know about me to serve me ads. Like for sure I've done that on like YouTube. Or I think it's just Google in general. You can say like you can't use my my data right. to personalize ads or something. I, I wonder if that's why. 
I don't know. I don't Insta- look at uh, reels on Instagram, mm-hmm. but I uh, I wonder if the same you know zeros and ones that are telling it to show me um, a mumble rapper in front of the Millennium Falcon in Disneyland would right. also factor into what my reels would be showing me. Like a power lifter that's uh, really into God or that father son duo. Like, is that the kind of stuff my reels are? I don't know. Like I, my sponsored post is literally just like a running shoe. Here's a running shoe. Let me keep going. Let me see what the next one is. And it's not like my algorithm is, is good either, but it at least is like, I can, I can see like, okay, I know why here's AT and T. Like I'm not getting any of these. I don't, I don't know crazy ones i don't know i used to get a lot of a lot of lingerie like like but like really like showy stuff that like i'm like when am i gonna get a chance to watch wear this uh and also like um bridal shapewear for a while yeah it's all white i mean because it's probably you went to a wedding right not not in a while no i think it's because i bought shapewear but i think because i was like a, a woman in her late twenties. It was like, "Hey, listen, you're probably gonna need this. Get that tummy under control yeah, for your big day." Point, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, "I just need it so I can wear white for dining fresco." Right. Um. Yeah, I'm still think, not getting. Yeah, it. I've, I've I, just been scrolling, and I'm not getting anything. For, it's like I think that like Instagram, uh, recording your uh, your conversations and stuff. I think my uh ads offering has shown that if they are doing that it's not the most important metric uh no but i've been getting some i've been getting some great stuff yeah the thistle inspire stuff they get you um have you gotten any of those patrick right. it's it's uh like lingerie and body suits a lot of lace I get a lot, yeah i get a lot of that um okay chips where do you want to start at the top? Uh, you know what? Let's start with Lay's classic. Let's just no, toss let's that start... in at C, right in the middle. I think, I think it's lower, but probably think it's a D. Yeah, they kind of suck. I mean, there's they nothing. They kind of suck. You're right. Why um, is there an E? The... <laughs> I don't know. Weird, right? We can take there it out if you e? want. Yeah, get rid of E. We don't need E. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck. E chips. Well, okay, so... I mean, honestly, we don't really need... S? No, let's no, no, keep... There's need, a lot yeah, of need, chips, need, so let's, need, let's keep... Okay. Um, What's your favorite sun chip? What do you think is an S-tier sun chip? I don't know that any of them hit S, but Garden Salsa is the only one that comes close. B or A? And a. A. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I got to put French Onion up there in A for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. They're good. Yeah. I think originals down with D. There's they offer nothing. Let me uh. You think originals? Here we good? go. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna put on some some uh, music. I know. I know what you're doing. Or, <laughs> do you want to watch Seinfeld clips? Yes, please. You do that. Yes. Well, Pacific Drive does look good. Um, there's some. Did AI you watch the Indiana Jones trailer? Stuff. What's up? You no, watched the I Indiana did not Jones. watch it. I was I was like. Ugh. Maybe it'll be good. I mean, it's machine games. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Did they make Wolfenstein? Yes. Where's all the... Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, then maybe it'll be good. I don't know. It'll, it'll probably be fine. But, like, I'm just like, I don't know if I want any more Indiana Jones. I, I can't bring myself to watch the new one. I, I watched, like, half. I half watched half of it. It was kind of like, oh, God. I had COVID, and I was like, nah. Yeah. That's one of these. Oh, I'm it's gonna... rough. It's rough. And I don't understand. I don't know why they did it. Like, were they like, oh, we can't go out on Kingdom of the... But it's like, but you did, and it's fine. Here we go. This is the song. It's panned hard left. Yeah, I just want Wolfenstein 3. Like it, there's, it's supposed to be the, there's supposed to be one more, but like, come on, please, just give me the, 
maybe this is what they have to do, you know, to get the money to make, because I don't think those games are like massive sales successes or anything. But. I don't know. Sorry, no, I'm just, yeah, we're just listening to this. It's beautiful, right? Is that like a tube of spices or something? What is that? I don't know what this is. Does anyone know what this is? I throw it in S tier. That's a good it's idea. It's S tier. That, that jug of milk is S tier. Oh, wait, it's like a Costco-sized barrel of chips or oh. something, I think. Yeah, I thought it was a tiny seasoning thing. I feel like that's... You can stick that in B or C. Because I feel like B by pure quantity, if it's a Costco thing. Yeah, just the quantity alone yeah. gets it points. Um, um, that's weird that they have original... Okay, wait, the cheddar and sour cream... Ruffles are S tier. They're not. very good, but the LeBron ones. There needs to be a separate category Basketball for the chips? LeBron Flame and Hot Cheddar and Sour Cream. Well, hang on, these we're ranking chips for Big Guy. Don't you think a big yeah. thing of chips from Costco would be good for Big Guy? Yeah, but here's the thing: we don't know what that is for sure. Yeah, I guess so. All right, um, I'm gonna say chips for Big Guy. He's probably got big hands, so I think all the, all, the, all the Pringles are S tier. All Pringles at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even fit. Well, because, like, it's so I can not get my hand in there. So think of, like, like a big guy. Maybe LeBron exactly. James. He's a big guy. Could be. He's a large man. They should make a wide Pringle, where the actual chip is, like, the size of, a like, wide a mouth, wide mouth <laughs> Pringle. Yeah. Boot cut. Wide mouth Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> Um, listen, I didn't want to put all the Pringles down there. I think they're a fine chip. Not great. I would put them maybe in C, personally. And you didn't. You actually left two on the board in play, so... Did I? Oh. Yeah. Pringles Ranch and... One more. I'll find Still it. one more. Uh, okay. Same place as where they all were. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> in fact, it was next to the one you just grabbed. <laughs> um. All right. Veggies. Veggie straws? You uh, big guy doesn't like veggie straws? No, those are F for sure. Okay, yeah. Because it's not a chip, really. Yeah. Along that line, hot fries. Oh, S. Those are S. But they're not a chip. Uh, it doesn't matter. They get a pass. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay, well then while we're on the, like, questionable shape, uh, Cheetos. Well, that's a good question. Actually, you know what? Baked Lays I'm going to put down here in D. Plain baked lays. Mm -hmm. Just the texture doesn't do anything for me. I could call. You want me calling some help for Cheetos? Yeah. Cheeto egg. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. So, and remember, this is a, this is a, this is chips for big guy. Tier list maker. Baked lays are not better than regular lays. I'll maybe give you barbecue baked lays. Hey, hang on a second. Long term success in network marketing comes from Mad Ninja subscribing again. Was there an uh, issue about chips? Yeah, well, we're ranking. I brought in help to rank Cheetos. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I think it is. The God. Yeah, lean down. Whoa. <laughs> Carlos, uh, sweet. What is this one? Which one? I don't. Oh, the one on the far right. The Cheetos. The Cheetos. Just Cheetos. The black one. Yeah. These? No. You. How? Yeah. What is that? I don't That's know. That's extra flaming hot. Okay. Where does that fall in the Cheeto scale? Well, S is. Oh, oh we can open them in new tabs. Did not realize that. So this is a Kavanaugh. <laughs> oh, they're communion wafers. S is the wafers. best. Are they communion wafers? <laughs> oh, S. S. Yeah. Number one. What the hell? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That changes everything. 
Kavanaugh too. That's well, good. It's just like S is best and then F is bad, but it's like there's just a whole yeah. So our act, I don't know. I think it's a Japanese well, JRPG thing. Did you explain to them that it's chips for big guy? It's also chips for big guys, so keep that in mind. These aren't necessarily your favorites. It's for big guy. And, and that's so is this what big guy would like? Yeah. And that's a your big guy. Yeah. Well, then to rank that's them perfect. for yourself. Yeah. So <laughs> what is so extra? What is this land? Extra. Extra would, as in like good, like how, yeah, how good it is. Are you familiar with like thinking things are better than other things? <laughs> is that I concept? I don't think we're doing spicy. No, 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 no. Good. It's for big guy. <laughs> Then it's an S. It's an S. Okay, yeah. extra is an S. Okay. Okay. Medium what about what about high. these? What about these puffs? The poof. Ooh. Cheeto poofs. A. a? a. That's an A. I, I think I agree. Yeah. Regular a. Cheetos. Plain ass Cheetos. B. B. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. Those Bye. are only good if you have if they're mixed with like a Chex mix. They're not good by themselves. All right. Move it to C. She overrode. <laughs> oh, I, did, I. I mean, she, if <laughs> she's if she's big guy, I'm gonna listen to her. I guess so. Yeah, she is big guy. Okay. Enhance on that one. Is that just plain flaming hot? Please enhance. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So, oh, flaming hot, crunchy, as opposed to flaming hot, wet. Uh, <laughs> you get things can be wet and crunchy. Celery. Celery. Yeah. Okay. It's not celery though. It's flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah, and celery um, would be yeah for because celery is wet and has crunch, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, where where does go? this land? The classic flaming hot. Um, I would say S. S? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go. It's a little I don't even spicy think I've had the extra. It's you too have. spicy. I'm pretty sure you have. Maybe I have. I don't know. Charles says it's a little too spicy for. Her. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of Doritos? Doritos? We've got we a, can move on. a few. Are you going in order? No, no not really. Yeah, We're kind of all over the place. Um, what, smart food pop I actually got to be low. Smart food popcorn's an F because it's for big guy. It's not. He's not. State those pita chips are also. A, I don't know. That's an F. I think. The Stacys. Yeah. Stacy, no. Yeah. Absolute. Absolute. Um, the plain Tostitos too, and like Frito, yeah, like all these like I, I mean, it's just salted. But 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 but, but I feel like big guy. Big like guy, my brother though. is big guy. He would sit down yeah, with yeah. a bag of exactly dipless Tostitos and he would go guy. nuts on them. Yes. So I think they're A. Okay. B maybe. You think it's A? I think B. Here, let me, it's I'm like gonna, if you I'm, have I'm it, nervous. if it's a if it's the only thing around, you're gonna you're gonna Can they hear me? Oh yeah, they can now. Yeah. Like, Hi guys. Like my... Hello. Hi. So we're talking about Hi Denise. Um we're talking about uh big guy. I think if nothing else is around, Tostito scoops are gonna be a go to even without salsa. I think that's our first B, maybe. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Um, what is this? What is, what is that? That's Turbos. Uh, Turbos Flamas. Flamas. <laughs> uh, so it's like a chili lime. Yeah. Looks like a taki almost. Well, there it are takis. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get funyuns on D. Onions on onions D. On I D. yeah, I kind of tend to agree. I don't think Funyuns are very mm. good. You right. disagree? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in front of baked and behind classic Lay's. Sure. Wait, where did the whatever the Spanish, the Mexican one? Where's that going? The Mexican the turbos? ones. Yeah. I just I personally don't like the, the powder. Is it like the Takis powder yeah, where it's, it's like, like the citric fake, acid? You know how Cheetos taste different in Mexico? It's yeah. like that. Oh. Uh. So I, I feel would, like most chips taste worse. In yeah, Mexico. like the yeah. the American chips taste worse in Mexico. Okay, yeah. but that also tastes. Better. What happens so if you bring American chips at. south of the border? Do they undergo a change? Yeah, I there's don't know a what it is. yeah, there's a tr you can hear the bag scream <laughs> as it contorts and changes into something else. <laughs> okay, so where where am I putting these? D F. Either one. Well, you gotta wow. help me Personally, out here. F, I'm not a big guy. Maybe big guy is a D. <laughs> A yeah, big okay. guy, mate. I guess big we guy. don't know big guy's ethnicity yeah. <laughs> or place of uh, big origin. Guy big guy is a melting pot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got two different Doritos 3Ds on here. Uh, spicy well, Ranch and... Yeah. What is that? I think... Chili Cheese Nacho. Cool Ranch. 
I know I, I've seen those before. Like, I, I think know of them. I think both. I think Big Guy loves the gimmick <laughs> of the 3D. Yeah. You think you think Big Guy when he sees there's a new kind of chip is like, wow, like I didn't Christmas. think they could do it. So maybe A, because yeah. they would need to. It, maybe they'll find a way into S. I think I think Nacho Cheese is A, Cool Ranch is S. Okay, well that leads me to my next question. The reg their counterparts. Doritos, uh, Nacho Cheese, ooh. S, Cool Ranch, yeah. A. That's psychotic, maybe but B, fine. Actually. Whatever. No, Please. I guess against other I, chips, I no, it's A. I don't pretend to know big guy's mind, but cool <laughs> nacho Doritos, not not a good chip. Well, okay, we're hedging then. We're putting one of each kind in each each way. I do like the idea of a guy getting 3D crunched Doritos at 7-Eleven and then being like, this is probably one of the best chips I've ever had. <laughs> Wait, he goes home and updates his list. What's that? What was the... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So, yeah. Thanks for your help. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you say something? I'm Carlos sure is so cool. Good. Got the Basquiat shirt. <laughs> Incredible. So cool. Um, <laughs> wow, he's so cool. <laughs> what is that? what is that? It's um, uh, the voice. It's like the dubbed voice from uh, Physical 100. I uh, right. I've never talked James about like it. I fucking love. I love the dubbed voice. It's like my it's my favorite thing in the world. A physical one hundred. Uh, just, just in general, I think general, okay. the, the dubbed voice is so good from like the from like old kung fu movies stuff where it's really like someone is completely phoning it in. Yeah, no, that rocks. Like, no, I'm not talking about like English voice actors on anime. I or thought something you were gonna start talking like, about that dying. one that one guy. That's all the guys. Jeez, that was loud. Um, no, no, I just like this voice yeah well it's a cool guy voice he does have no position in beat here you know what i'm talking about yeah no i, I get what you're talking about i understand it yeah. what's cape cod is that like a brand that i'm supposed it seems like a whole food chip i've had i've had those chips i don't think they're i think they're just like plain potato chips Here's the thing. It's though. like if it's I like if Lay's Classic was made with like a, a potato. It's the only instead of it's the only kettle chip offering though. On the list. Does he care? I think if anything, Big Guy has more opinions about chips than anything else. He made this I mean, list after all. That's a good point. Is there? Do you think there's a? Is there a tier tier list category? Twitch. What? Nothing. I was okay. gonna change okay. it because I thought it'd be funny for a second, but then I I don't know. I I don't actually. There's no reason. I'm gonna throw Cape Cod and C because they both start with C. Oh, that's perfect. That makes a lot of sense Thank actually. You. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's finish out Doritos. I think. Yeah. Okay. So we've got. Is what that are, the sweet? That's a weird choice. Those aren't like the first two Doritos I go to yeah, after again, the, the main two. You're not I big know, guy. It's for big guy. It's for big guy. We've got spicy nacho and spicy sweet chili. No. Both a little rich I, for my blood, but options. I don't I don't love either of these. No, I don't either. And I'm not sure if big guy you know what does. I do like, you know what I really like? I like the green salsa ones. Okay. Those are those are really good. Um I kinda like the taco ones too. I don't think um, I've had those. Those are good. Uh but if I'm not doing I think the like green chili or green salsa or whatever it is, Doritos are are my favorite after maybe a cool ranch. I don't I don't like nacho cheese. That's too like, it's too. It's a stick. Uh, it's a taste of... that sticks with you. I have to be in the mood for a nacho cheese. Yeah. Potato, but I don't like the tang of a cool ranch. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, I'll eat it in a pinch, but it's not my go-to. You know what's not good is the the cool ranch. Um, Doritos Locos. Uh, no, the Cool Ranch Flamin' Hot. I don't think I've ever had that. It's not It's not very good. What about the Tapatio Doritos? Are those good? We have some, some Sooner 92X uh, writing for those. I actually don't think I liked those. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uts spicy sweet honey. I sorry. I wish that I could that I could rock with Uts, but um, my grandmother decided that our family was at odds with the Uts family when they built on the dunes in the Jersey Shore, in Avalon, okay. um, and put a big mansion on the on the dunes, uh, which are sacrosanct uh, to the, uh, the, the, sure. the people of the Jersey shore. You don't fuck with sure. the dunes. You don't walk on the dunes when you're a kid, but if you ever get the mm -hmm. opportunity to, it's thrilling. Why don't you walk on the dunes? Because if you degrade the dunes, you add the risk to, to flood risk. Oh, okay. Huh? Um, we should finish this oh. out so we can go on to vegetables. Let's We've talked down. about, um, what was that? What was the cheese it flavor that I? That Fiesta? I don't know. What are you talking about? Okay, so there is a Fiesta. I think it's Fiesta. Cheese it's. There is. There is. Okay, sorry. There, there was a type of um, cheese it that is now discontinued. Uh huh has been for like dec like two decades now probably yeah was I'm it the bronco remember. cheese it did they dis discontinue it after what happened yeah um i'm seeing fiesta but i don't remember R the r kelly cheese it i don't remember is it there's like nacho and cheesy taco but i don't remember those well, being the flavors let's look at the chips we've got in front of us uh -huh. Let's get this. Let's get this locked in because it's making me hungry, dude. I'm getting so hungry now. Okay. And I'm okay. gonna go buy all these chips, so I can know that I made the right decisions. A cheese it that can make a man larger. Um. Okay. Uh, popcorners. I don't know. White cheddar is the, the like the only good one, and even that, I'm not sure if big guy yeah. really gives a shit. I think that's D, and the other two are F. Sure. I'm. Um, uh, yeah. Totally fine. Okay. So I feel like you just rolled over. Like you didn't actually want to talk about it. I didn't hear you. Okay. What? I'm. I'm sorry. I'm googling cheese. It discontinued cheese. It's what's up. <laughs> I'm in. I'm back in. I'm back in. You're, I'm back in. You're back in. I'm back in. Don't worry okay, about it. Well, let's just go down the line. Huh? Bugles. Huh? I should love, gotcha. I love bugles. I love a bugle too. Here's, I never get. Here's that. the thing. But I'm wondering if big guy's fingers are too fat. You know, too or just big, so too round, yeah. too meaty to, to fit a bugle on. Bones. That's true. At which that's point, like it's no longer like most fun. Most of the experience. Right. But they're also bugles. Maybe he could even hold it and be like, it's like a tiny witch hat. That could be. A I fun mean, bugle's a good guy. snack. Bugle's a good snack. It's great snack. It's a little sweet. Yeah, it's got a nice, little, nice little sugary it's sweetness goes to down, it. Goes down smooth. Uh huh. What are we doing? The bugles. I don't think it's like an S, but I think it's a. I think it's an A, probably. A? I don't know. B's looking kind of lonely. Yeah. I think the finger aspect. Let's pop it and fucking B for bugles. E. Mm, B for bugles. I don't know what to do with these alt Doritos. Let's just crazy. pop them in like pop them in fucking. Uh, we'll pop them in D for Dorito. That's that's a great point. For Dorito. But that's a worrying precedent set for Fritos. I mean, Fritos aren't good. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Fritos, but I feel like I'm not a Frito guy head at all. Fritos. You know what's crazy is the uh, the like honey barbecue Fritos twists. You familiar? Um, I was sharing oh, yeah, a tent. Yeah. I was sharing yeah, yeah, a tent yeah. with yes. with, uh, with Jake. We were camping on the Coast Guard grounds in Jersey. And he mm. left those in front of the tent, and it was unzipped a little. Ants everywhere. And still, I was not warned off that kind of snack. The crazy thing is, it's a massive evolution up from Frida's. Oh yeah. It's like a course. it's well, like a Digimon. Anything is. It's like anything it's like a little is, right? like a it's like a tiny like a like a groundhog that evolves into an angel, like a hot angel. Of a hot angel. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like this one. Uh, like that humiliates you and no the angel doesn't do that, that no one do, no one no no one does that i to me. hear what you're saying i locked it in i hear what you're saying i don't have a humiliation kink i'm putting fritos in okay. f for fritos 
Oh, no. I think D. I think Fritos is a D snack. Really? For me and Big Guy, yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not good. It's just, not a good snack. The taste just sticks with you. It's garbage. It it's a like garbage a snack. snack. That, that it that could should have only existed in, like, like the 50s. Fritos, cold yeah. snacks. And then, like, when they figure out that, that you can emulate different flavors. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. Okay. Sour cream and onion lays S tier. Uh, really? I don't think any lays crack the. Oh, but it's big guy, so yeah, it's S tier. Okay. <laughs> lays barbecue. A. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's I just bad. feel like big guy has cheddar and sour cream ruffles. So like, why would he go for cheddar and sour cream lays? Like, yeah, I don't think he's F, a fan. Probably. Yeah, F. Yeah. Same with regular salt and vinegar, lays. F. Oh, it's salt and vinegar. You don't like salt and vinegar? No, I don't. But I guess I, if it's I big do. Guy. It's certain. I do, but not a lays. And I don't think I don't think big guy likes a lays either. So I think I do. I think the F is appropriate. Okay, cool. Original ruffles. ruffles. Eh. Now, does he have a sour cream and onion dip? On Again, him? though. And I'm not. It, it it calls to mind the Tostitos. Uh, situation uh -huh. in that if it's what he's got dip or no dip he's diving into that bag and it does start with an r so let's make yeah. it a b he's in his bag we could make an r tier but i'll put it in b i'll put it in b okay now i've got sun chips harvest cheddar and original i had some original sun chips today and they fucking sucked yeah f Put Harvest something cheddar. on your fucking. Hey, put something on your fucking chip, you coward. Otherwise, don't make chips. Do you remember the sun okay. chip? This has definitely come up before on the show, but the su when they made sun chip bags fully biodegradable and they were the loudest chip bags ever made. I don't remember that. I feel like I go generally like, ten to fifteen years of my life without, uh, eating sun chips. Right. And then they come back somehow. They like re-enter my life. Well, it depends what's being ordered for any office. So here's a this what is it is. NBC yeah, they only for Columbus offices. from 13 years ago. Okay. Okay, good. This is going to have exactly the kind of like local news flair that I want. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, very loud. That obnoxious little boy made me realize, as a journalist, I need to dig deeper into the story. It makes a lot of noise just taking out one chip. If you fold the bag, our chip bags at work don't do this, do they? So we took a sound no, a level meter to it's test how loud the bag really is. My voice. How is this twenty? The bag of chips. Twenty ten did not look like this. You plan on eating sun chips out of the bag? Don't try having a conversation. Frito Lay, the maker of Sun Chips, says the new bag sounds a little different. That's because it's made of plant based material plant -based. and they have different sound properties plant than the material used to create our old bags. They I mean, say I'm because the new that. bags are made from plants, they should break down in about 14 weeks when placed in a hot, active compost pile. The new Sun Chip bag is all the buzz on YouTube and people weeks. like the new green movement, but. Oh, go green, drive a Prius. <laughs> do compost okay fine i don't care about that but sun chips do you think you could have made the bag any louder who is this man i know i'm curious about him now fine go green drive I... prius i don't give a dang fifth and but i just oh, have to go green drive prius do compost okay fine i don't care about that but I know, chips. like, out of sight, out of mind, but where do we all think all of this plastic is going? And how does it end well? Probably the island nation in the Pacific that is becoming right. larger by the day, right? I've actually yeah. kind of just, my brain has just assumed that's where all the plastic goes, but it's probably a series of landfills that uh, think about how much. I mean, I'm sure homes. I'm sure you, to, to at least some small extent... You know, you you try not to use plastic water bottles and stuff like that, right? Like, I mean, and even a I'm, you know, water bottle. Yeah, I try to. You try you to probably still burn conscious. through as much single-use plastic as anyone else, but like, <laughs> even then, it's like, 
think about how much plastic you still use, like shampoo probably or stuff like that. Any shopping Dish at soap. Trader Joe's, it's a lot of single use packaging. Uh-huh. Right, but that's that's my point. Like, even if you're even if you're doing like a little bit, it, you still blast through so much. Do you ever think about that's... how much shit you've made? Duke, like poo poo. <laughs> Duke, yes, exactly that. Because I thought sure, I thought but about that's it. That's degradable. Like, you know that that haunting old picture of all the like bison skulls uh, in the American West. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I feel like it's got to look like that, but for 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 Dukey. Okay. Like an old timey man in a three piece suit with a pocket watch, looking up at a massive pile of shit that came out of me. Mm hmm. I don't know. It's cool. Makes me think. We should finish out this chip list. We've got Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. They're they're a slightly better than the regular ones. I'm gonna toss this in D. But does Big Guy like them? Uh. I'm gonna put them at the top yeah. of that. Okay. We have two Takis. I don't know what the, the blue, blue had the blue times. ones. It was the Fuego of Times. I've and never I, had the blue ones. I want you to calm down, Patrick, because you're like, this is a new look. What if it doesn't have the same intensity? You'll be happy to know. New look, same intensity. Okay? Oh, oh, fantastic. Okay. I was worried about that. <clears throat> Worry no more. So what is the blue heat? Does it have menthol yeah. in it? It's that mentholated, yes. Yeah, it's mentholated. <laughs> can you do that? You probably can, right? Like with breath mints and, and all that shit. I mean, yeah, like it's just uh well xylitol is that like that's the gum stuff that makes that I, but yeah, you I mean you can put like mint, menthol, right. whatever in anything, yeah. I think I think big guy loves blue talkies. Because it's blue, I think he find. I think he thinks that's, that's epic. Awesome, yeah. I'm putting that yeah. actually right. He says the epic. But... Wafers. It is. Like, okay. It is pretty. It is epic. And then regular talkies and like a. I don't know. Jerry, how you doing? Everything's going great. We did it. How are you? Um. Okay. That's it. Do we want to download it? Why is, there's a presentation mode. What is that? That probably does it like one by one. All right, just so everyone knows, that is locked in. That is official. Is that Jesse Ventura and Sanchez? All right. Very good. Let's find out if it is Jesse Ventura. It's certainly not. It's uh. It's, it's also it's just it's gone. gone. Okay. Oh no, there it is. Oh, okay, it's Tony saying a slur right there on the homepage of YouTube. I can't put that on Twitch. Oh, it's because I, I I'm not. Okay. Um. Presentation mode. We're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, present. I think this is so you could do it better as a. As a stream or something. Yeah. Oh well, it would have been good to know, huh? Well, it can be good to know if we want to do fruit or vegetables. Do fruit. Okay. Presentation mode. Oh, there this is way we go. Better. Kind of, actually. It's not that much better because of where our cameras are. So I'm going to go back to normal uh, view. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, There's a live voting poll. Click on that. Up top. I'm just curious what that is. Please log in. First. Oh, tough. Okay. okay. Well, I will not be doing that. No. Um, What fruit is total bullshit? Uh... Bananas. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. They're not. What's on need to try? Okay, you know what? I I, I understand that. <laughs> you need to try. You haven't tried a banana yet. I'm gonna put an F. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Let's find a good. I think an apple is an just right down the middle. I it's a C. I've been really fucking with the Fuji apples, like I told you. Yeah, I've but it's still like, does it really lately. bring you, really like? It brings me so much joy. It's a bug. It brings you the same joy as like now. a mango. That's a good point. But can we put it in B? I fine. But I, guess. I feel like so many apples are dog shit that brings it right back down to C. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. There's also red delicious is entirely you know is in there. 
interesting story that. Okay. Uh, do me a favor, just pop mango and S right off the bat. No questions yeah, asked. Where is that? That is gonna be you're close, you're close middle row. Middle row. That? Yep. That's mango. Yeah, mango is great. I think pineapple is an A or S. That's an A for that's not an S for me. I don't like the texture. Watermelon, I'm gonna really. pop an A as well. Yep, watermelon's an A. Watermelon's Easy. phenomenal. Uh, that weird one with the spines and the, the gooey insides is going to be an S for me. Which one? Um, Next to kiwi. That? I love those motherfuckers. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> You've had it? Put it in S, yeah. You know what it is? I don't know what it is. It's just delicious and tangy. But you've had it. Yeah, I've had it. <laughs> Okay, kiwi. I'm gonna put in B. It's a fun, interesting. That's an A for, that's an a that's for, an a me, for me. But... I'll, no, I'll toss it up there. I can, I'm agree. Okay. I, don't, I don't need to be convinced that much. Grapes. I feel like it's right next to apples. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Grapes range of quality is, is phenomenal. Uh. We need a D. Orange. And I wanna. I'm thinking figs, but figs belong more in F than D. F for figs. Um, F for we'll figs. Pop that on there right now. Yeah. It's perfect. Okay. Um, we Tomatoes need a... are an F. Um, they're no good. Yeah. Uh, uh, we just toss honeydew up there in S. And let's keep get it, that let's the, keep the fuck out of there. Are you out of your <laughs> fucking mind? <laughs> get an F I, right now. I. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't know. Cause like can. A... Can honeydew be good? Yeah. Yes. yes. Can you count the times you have had good honeydew on half of one hand in your entire life? Also, yes. Honestly, like I feel like I used to ride more for honeydew, but having a really good cantaloupe is way better than a than a good honeydew. Yeah. Good cantaloupe. I think I think that's the thing is like I've had good honeydew and eat it, but I've had good honeydew. It's so unbelievably rare that it's almost not even worth mentioning it kind of feels like it could be s tier though then if that if it has that potential get it in fucking f it's not an f or, it's a d tier because it's a it's a classic fruit salad ad putting it in d it's not a good it's no it's God. not it's, Fine, it's good filler. whatever it's good for volume Fine. but i will put cantaloupe I think... in front of it in d well no i'll put that okay. in c no i'll put it yeah in that's a it's, it's, it's now I'm I mean, it suffers from the same thing of like it's so rare that you actually get a good one. Yeah, when you get a bad one, it's just like, yeah. gosh. Uh, oh, a honey, Lava. Uh, cantaloupe and prosciutto. Incredible. That's a real guava is guava is an A for me, but I understand if it's more of a B for you. I think actually, hang on, the seeds bring it, the seeds bring it down to a B because they're oh, so okay. fucking like tooth breaking well if okay that's a good point if we want to talk about inconvenience uh where does the po the humble pomegranate go um if i could have like a butler shell a pomegranate and give me a bowl of rich uh, yeah yeah pomegranate pods i would love that mm -hmm. but we don't live in that yeah. world no so i'm gonna i, think I'm gonna I mean to me even even if it's shelled it's still kind of like it's good and I would eat a bowl of it or whatever, but it's right. not like it's not amazing. Oh it might my be god, B. yeah, I think, yeah, I think a B. I think it's a solid B. All right, um, let's tackle the elephant in the room. Oh my god, the strawberry. <clears throat> I mean, I think I think that's an A. I think it's incredible. It's very delicious. I think of the kind of like yeah, the best the fruit that we really the fruit that's available in any Walmart store in North America. I think. I think strawberry. I think of the fruits that like you can walk into any grocery store in North America and buy. You know, I think a strawberry is probably about as good as it gets. Wonderlight, though, with a good point that some of them fucking suck. Also, a normal. Thank some, you for subbing. some. Some of any fruits. There's not a single fruit on think, here where you yeah, buy a I rotten one and it's delicious. Well, not even rotten, but just kind of like mass-produced fruit. Fruit as it stands, like. The bar is so low for some things, but I do, uh, they just, they go bad so quickly. I don't like, I can't have strawberries they in do. my house anymore. 
I, I mean, feel like that keeps it, it from its greatness. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with a B, but I'm maybe. Open to yeah, top of B. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look, I don't dis I don't agree with necessarily with everything on this list, but it's about compromise. It's about compromise. For, I mean, it would be so yeah. much easier if this was for a big guy. Yes, I we're know. not our big guy. Sorry, big guy. Um, I fucking love plums. Plums are so good. Plums are an elite I fruit. I love a fucking plum. Do you want to put that in S? Hey, Charlotte. Don't tell nobody. Okay. But I fucking love plums. I, d I know I've said this before, but I would do anything for a plum. I would I do, do shit that I could. I would never imagine doing. Uh, ethically or morally for a plum I would ruin myself and those closest to me financially and spiritually just for just the taste of a plum for someone to just rub a plum upon my lips I'll swallow the pit if it means a plum tree will grow from within me I'll swallow the pit and when it comes uh. back out I'll swallow it again until it takes and I will keep doing this for It's who I am. But, uh, I I don't think pineapple's good. I think pineapple is You don't kind think pineapple's good? Flavor. No, it, or not sorry, not pineapple, papaya. Papaya. I don't think I've Uh let me let me tell you the problem with papaya. You're in a tropical region. I'm in a tropical okay. region. Have you, have you been to the tropics much? Uh, no. The closest I've okay. been is probably Orlando. I think that probably counts. Or no, maybe um, maybe Bermuda. I think that that counts. I'll count. I'll count those. Um, what are we looking at there? We're looking at guava. Guava. We're looking at mangoes. Pineapple, my, okay. Mangoes. Pineapple. We're looking at some of the most flavorful juicy passion fruit okay Incredibly we're looking at yummy. some of the most flavorful unbelievable fruits yeah of all time yeah and then you have a papaya which is just this like weird flavorless mush mm. uh it's not very sweet it's not super flavorful it's kind of just like bleh. which one of these is a i think it's terrible it, it i think it's terrible yeah so you think an f I think it's an F. It's an F for hey, me, listen, for sure. Not gonna get any, you're not going to get any argument from me. Yeah. Would you have anything you want to pop in F or A or anything like that? Are these dates? I don't know what How the can fuck you have dates enhanced? and figs? Can you enhance? They're dates. It says it here, date 7 PNG. How you is can have date? dates and figs. Yeah, what? And F. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oops. Oh no. Do dog tear, dog pop. <laughs> there we go. Kind of looks like dog pop. What's going on here? Oh, it's over. All it's right. Through, it's full um, music. What is this? We're, lychee. Where are you? Oh, okay. No, I, Lychee's I like, really good. I like lychee a lot, I, but I've never really like, had it straight up. I've had it in boba and cocktails. Oh, it's it's good. It's really good. I would I would say lychee is like easily a B. Lychee is yeah. I would I would pop that up there. I'm gonna put it in yeah. front of uh. I'm gonna put it in front of everything. Lychee is like real quite good. The only problem with lychee is it has the texture of like skin. <laughs> when you <laughs> that's eat a it, that's like... a plus for me. That's I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I just say, the classic, orange. the classic orange is bullshit. Fuck orange. Oh. Why would you eat an orange when you can have a mandarin, a golden nugget, sumo? I mean, yeah. I mean. I think this is also another issue of um, right, like farm, uh, the kind, the type of shit we get in grocery stores. Because I got true. an orange tree. I got an orange tree, and I have a, a like a. I don't know what the other one is. To be honest, it's like a. Some other citrus, tangerine tree maybe or something. See, I like. They're tangerine. both like, they're so, they're so fucking good. 
but they also they're in my yard like it's not grocery store I agree like if you get an orange from a grocery store it's horrible it's never good I think good oranges exist but yes the can classic it, like put grocery it in store D, orange I won't put it in there. yeah 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 I'll put it in front of honeydew anywhere I don't yeah if you want to talk about fruits that that's often done dirty by what's available in grocery stores pears man mm, do pears get an extraordinary the fruit they get so sandy and, and just like mm -hmm. flavorless and and, and and the window of ripeness is very difficult with a pear. Real tough. Well, and also they look like shit when they're perfect to eat. They don't look great, yeah. Right. They bruise extremely easily. Yeah. I disagree pears that pears are, are a so filler. Fucking fruit. Good. No, pears are awesome. Pears, pears but they're are, really hard pear, again, they're hard are, to get good. Have you ever seen a still life painting? Pears are right there front and center with the grapes and the apples right there yeah they're a muse it's like the mona lisa of fruit right is she frowning mm -hmm. is she smiling is it right we don't know is it is it as dr is it know. as hard as drywall and as dry too you know mm -hmm. asian the pears are great yeah, they're pe crunchier i think pears deserve a yeah right on uh, okay what do you see My on god here? there's so many left what is this? Mangosteen. Which one? I've had mangosteen Snapple. I think I've actually had those, but I don't remember what they taste like. I guess need to try. Mm. Mangosteen. Well, let's, can anyone in the chat make a strong case for the mangosteen? I'm, yeah, uh, I'm, fight it out in the chat, and when you reach a conclusion amongst yourselves. Yeah. Uh, let us know. We're willing to hear an appeal, but not from all of you. Just from mm -hmm. one spokesperson. Yeah. Uh, I mean, let's just go through apricots. Uh, not. Uh, it's like a D or. It's like a D for me, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Avocado. Listen, I, I get it. I know. Oh, weird. It's a fruit, but it's like, a what fruit. is it doing here if I mean, we're not going to include I tomatoes? Uh, do, tomatoes are right there. These are cranberries. Are they? <laughs> You're kidding. What? I thought tomatoes were there. I that also tomatoes thought they were tomatoes. That's an easy F, but... Yeah. Well, I, I think on... I think avocado shouldn't be fruit. We delete it? Um, Is that possible? Uh, yeah, get into the... Uh, no. Okay. All right. Um, um, let's let's leave that. I don't feel like dealing with it. What is this? Interesting. Are those kumquats? Are those cloudberries? I, I guess that's the need, a need to try. Have you had ground cherries? They kind of are husk cherries. They have like a like a husk of like dry, almost like leaf skin around them. They're fantastic. I don't know. It's an incredible fruit. Okay. Like, are they called ground cherries? Yeah, ground cherry. Grand cherry. Um, oh, I think I have had these. Yeah, they're weird, but they're super good. Mm -hmm. They have like almost like a like a different kind of sweet taste, almost like vanilla -y. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, well, let's just do the ones we know. Blueberry. Uh, I don't know. I, I really do like blueberries, but I'm done dirty by them so much. And it just, I can't mm -hmm. just sit there and eat them, and I don't even love them that much in baking. Yeah. It's a D for me. I think where blueberries lose some of their... I really like a good blueberry. I love, like, if blueberries are awesome, they're really good. Blueberry-flavored things. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's not a single good one. It just doesn't do... It doesn't do it for me. It's never good. Um, Blueberry Pop-Tarts? Nope. Well, I'll say um, blueberry flavoring, I do prefer to cherry flavoring. I don't like cherry flavor. I don't like artificial cherry in really anything. I don't like it. I don't either, but I, I feel I like don't. fruit punch is always like very cherry forward. Cherry flavored candies, like Jolly Ranchers and stuff. Like, Isn't that's it weird that cherry is the default, but it's like not a fruit you eat very often at all? My uncle had cherry trees, but beyond that no we would well no i don't get them yeah. so often 
I think cherries and blueberries belong in like. I don't know. I mean, I could I could see blueberry and C. I mean, a good cherry is delicious too, but. I'll put blueberry in there, and I'll put cherries between oranges and honeydew. Okay. Blackberries? I, I love a blackberry. Are... I think... A perfectly ripe too. blackberry is a transcendent experience, and you won't get that with a raspberry. It yeah. Ain't the same. Raspberries are fucking awesome. Though. They're great, but blackberries steal the show every time. They're equal to me. They're better for baking, I think, blackberries. I love the perfectly ripe blackberry. Might be one of my favorite fru frutal experiences. Okay, interesting. Frutine. Yeah. <laughs> Frutine I would put blackberry in it. S. Jesus Christ! Come on. No, I'm serious. What the fuck? That's up there. Here. A plum, a delicious blackberry. You know, perfectly bouncy. Just a little bit of resistance on the bite. Deep, I'm sorry. I, rich. I think you're out of your mind. I don't think a blackberry is an S. I is, love blackberries, but that's nuts. That is not to nuts. To call that an S. You're crazy. I disagree. <laughs> you can disagree, but you're deadly wrong. I <laughs> will I will go to bat. Let me look at what's left. Okay. Yeah, I'll go to bat for blackberries. If, if, you if get... I can get one thing into S tier... All right, you get blackberries. blackberries, and then I get passion fruit and S tier. Is that this? That's dragon fruit. No, Where's no, passion? it's the purple, that one. This? Yeah. Okay. I like passion fruit. Whew, sorry, I I don't know what came over me there. That was kind of a lot. Let me, let me watch a, some gross food thing that I got to wash off my hands. What? No. Okay. Uh, we're not ranking breads, because um, if we if you rank what you could make out of something, uh, I mean banana bread is is fantastic. Um, cherry uh, cherry and ice creams like a dark chocolate cherry ice cream or or a gelato that's that's incredible. Uh, tangerine, I don't think there are tangerines. Okay. The remaining citrus is grapefruit, lime, and lemon. Tangerines well, aren't after tangerines are pretty awesome. Nectarines. They're not like ass, but they're they're very good. You say nectarines? Um, no tangerines. Oh, tangerines. Someone's saying. Because I love a nectarine. Tangerines. F tier. What's F tier? Uh, wait, what's a tangerine? There's no tangerines. No tangerines are awesome. Tangerines are delicious. They're tart. We don't. Okay. Well, we don't. We don't have any. What, what those We've started. Cloud. Right? Those cloud things in need to try. Yeah. And just go ahead and put coconut and dog popo. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the worst part of any like street fruit for me. It's the worst. It sucks. sucks. It just completely upsets the entire so balance bad. of everything. So just, bad. Oh, Bananas do it. that too, where it's like people yeah. are like, oh, a strawberry banana smoothie. And it's like, no, it's just a banana smoothie. The second you add banana to it, it's just a banana flavored thing. I like strawberry banana. It overrides everything else. I feel else. like but you strawberries have, no, you don't. also you just strong like will, a banana though. smoothie. It doesn't matter. It, the only thing the strawberries add to strawberry banana is the seeds texture. The seed. Seed. Okay, star fruit. I don't think I've ever had a star fruit. It's it's very okay. It's like an F or a D, I think. Uh, okay, I'm, I'll put it in. I'm gonna defer right to you. D. It's not. It's, it's okay, not an F. It's just or fine. D. All right, we did blackberries. So where are raspberries going? B or A? I mean, at least an A. A. Okay. It's an A. Behind or below? In front of or below kiwi? Uh, below kiwi because okay. since kiwi truly belongs in s but that's okay uh do you want peach. kiwi in s we can do that no no it's fine i uh, yeah throw kiwi in s okay. peach actually no that's a that's a nectarine is it not yeah it says peach in the png it's a peach okay oh, i take it back peach i thought there was no fuzz on that bad boy i think i think peach is a b good peach is a b yeah and i'm gonna lump yeah. that in with nectarine I, okay. love, I love a nectarine. I love stone fruit. Thank you for, for <laughs> allowing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Dorian. Have you ever had a Dorian? The it's the one that smells like dog fruit? shit, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Should we Rotting put it in flesh. Dog popo? I, I've never had it, so yeah, dog popo. Okay, cranberries, kind of bullshit. 
I'm such sorry. a weird it's like I mean, a it's d good for, i guess like, drinks it's i like cranberry i actually love cranberry juice like plain cranberry juice where it's incredibly like tart i, I love like it i drink it straight cranberry juice i like a yeah. like cranberry pomegranate juice too uh-huh yeah yeah wonderland you gotta go it's a fruit, it, it has a fruit i mean yeah just it's like, like it's just like i don't know what are you gonna yeah that's an f I don't think it's, oh. I think it's a D. I was I couldn't read for a second. Okay. Um, sorry. Is that, is that dragon fruit or is that? That's dragon fruit. Dragon fruit is another one that always like never really has as much flavor as you think it's going to. But that could also be like where I'm buying it from. I don't think it's an F, but it's a D for sure. I don't think it's any higher than that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about grapefruit. Yeah. Weird fruit. Yeah. Can't okay. be very good. Sure. I feel like it has to be an acquired taste. Um, I mean, I already told you I drink straight cranberry juice, unsweetened. You were also talking about so how you much you know. like just biting into a lemon. Yes. I fucking love grapefruit juice. You love grapefruit juice. I love grapefruit juice. Plain, straight up, <laughs> sour as can be. <laughs> I love eating. I love grape. I love eating grapefruit. I, I just don't. I fucking love this shit. My mom used to have grapefruit around, so I would eat it, you know, every now and then. Mm -hmm. But like, it is not something I go out of my way to have. I just, and I, I, love I like it. grapefruit flavored I, things. I like, sure. I like a pample miss. Mm -hmm. Who am I kidding? All right. Well, where do you want it then? We got a lot of citrus and avocado. I, I think it's A. I think it's A. It's A? Yes, okay. it's so good. It's so good. And where do you want a lemon? Uh, I mean, I think lemon, lemon is... and lime. Lemon and lime both belong in like C. They're they're great for flavor, but on their own, they're not fruits, like fruits. Yeah, a fruit you eat. Yeah, like okay. indispensable, indispensable in terms of uh, their use in oh cooking God, and baking. Yeah. And 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 for the savory, can we just say oh, lemon yeah. and a pasta? Ceviche. There's entire cuisines that don't exist Whole without cuisines wine. Cuisines that don't exist without. Dessert, the greatest desserts of all time. What are they made with? You know it's lemon. That. I but if I'm just like with, looking at fruit, bar. and I'm like, I want well, not just lemon bar. Anything lemon is so good. I made lemon shortbread. Dessert wise. For that, for there you party. go. They're really good. But uh, I think just like if you're looking at a bunch of fruit and you're like, I'm gonna get a fruit to eat. There is no situation ever where you buy a lime. Just a snack on. No, that would be insane. You know? that right, would be, exactly. That would be exactly. one of the most exactly. worrying things I'd ever seen. Exactly. That's like a guy, I sat next, when I was a kid, one of the first flights I ever took, I sat next to a guy with a bag of tomatoes and he ate them like apples. Jesus Christ. That's not okay. You can't, you can't just do that, you know? Mm -hmm. God, this is making me so fucking hungry. I know I want fruit now. I might go buy some fruit. Kind of want some fruit. I got I got some apples outside. I just I thought I was so against apples for such a long time. Not like, you know, not on principle. It's just that most apples were bullshit. But mm -hmm. I just I started fucking with Fuji recently. Yeah. And it's a, it's been a goddamn game changer. Mhm. Mm and I don't even my problem is I would buy fruit and like let it, it would go kind of like and then I would be scared to like open it up because like what if it's not good? Then it just gets worse and worse. The apples yeah. don't even have a chance to overripen. I'm I'm me I'm piling through those uh, guys. I'm bringing them with me to work. I'm eating them in the car. Okay. I'm eating them at my desk. It's incredible. Wow. Okay. It's incredible. I, I love a. I, actually, can I please put the apples in B? Can I please put the apples in B? Fine. Patrick? Fine. Put apples in B. Fine. Okay. Cool. And I'm gonna have to toss a. What is this? Avocab? Avocado? Yeah, I put that need to try. Yeah, I'm we not, I can't it. really, really say. Wow, okay, we did it. Well, hmm. There we go. It's, uh, it's all she Again. wrote, folks. Definitive?
Yeah, red delicious apples are one of the most disgusting. I don't understand why they're so prevalent because I no one likes them. Well, they were. They, I mean, like, they were bred for the look. So the the first red delicious apple apparently was quite good. It was a special crossbreed and it debuted at the World's Fair. Right. In the 1800s, and then they just bred them selectively to have the most pearlescent waxy red exteriors and they just taste like fucking dog shit just oh my god you know i like, a, on ga- a, like a gala apple too. hang on a second listen to this in the 1940s the apple was the most popular in the u.s in the 1980s red delicious represented three quarters of the harvest in washington state the selection of beauty and long storage over taste was making the apples less popular and demand was declining, blah, blah, blah. By the 1990s, reliance on the now unwanted Red Delicious had helped to push Washington State's apple industry to the edge of collapse. In 2000, Congress approved and President Bill Clinton signed a bail to bail out the apple industry. Whoa. I feel like we would have heard heard about that more without like the other stuff Bill Clinton got up to. I know. So now the Gala is the highest... Gala's, Gala's a great apple. No one's saying it's not. I mean, the only one that really sucks is Red Delicious. I like, don't really understand people eating a Granny Smith. Like no, baking, I mean a, a Granny. Right? Like, yeah, a Granny Smith is great for baking. baking. It's not apple. a good eating apple. But like, um, but there are. But at least that it has a, a Smith, use, right? Hell yeah! It, Taza like, first said an real... ice cold Granny Smith god tier. <laughs> In a real pinch, I'll eat a Granny Smith, but like, I don't want to. Oh, God. Ugh. Blech. No thanks. At least texturally, it's fine, though. Mama. What are you doing? You want to come say hi? Come here. My grapes were in there somewhere. I don't know where, but they were in there. Grapes, I think we put solidly in. They're like a C, C or yeah. something. They're just like in the middle of the road. I was going through a grape kinda. phase, but that's kind of past. I, I like mean, a um, I like a cotton candy grape. Oh yeah, those are good. There's um, I was gonna say something. Oh, you know what I like is a I like a dried mango. Of course. But I don't want the sweet, sweetened ones with all the like the like sugar and candied stuff. I want that shit like like leather. Just oh sure. Go. Nothing else. Mhm. I got yogurt here, so that's why I'm not talking as much. Crazy how many apples are like like most of the apples we think of are invented, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, very much so. Why is this? Because part of the Red Delicious is. is like apples are not naturally one color. Like breeding out well, all the other sure. colors is crazy. Yo, that I th- yeah. I think about that so much with like like flowers bleached. Mm-hmm. No fucking reason. I mean, there's no absolutely reason to no reason. Your asshole, but that doesn't mean people shouldn't. But it's just like the stupidest shit. And it's like, well, then it looks it looks uniform, it looks good. And it's like, well, if you only give people one option, guess what? They're not going to give a fuck. In fact, do people care that flower, if flower is white? Is that actually something anyone thinks or cares about? Same with apples. It's like, I don't care if my apple isn't a, you know. It's just, a, it's such a weird, that's such an odd part of the food industry of like breeding everything to look perfect. rubbing her face against mine okay (laughs) what do you mean kiwi are not naturally occurring oh they're not naturally occurring um uh but that's also not true (laughs) uh do you ever see how corn started it's little Oh, like what corn actually looks like? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. Thing with it's like a... three little nugs on it. And they're like, I know. let's make a whole goddamn meal out of this. Yeah. Yeah, heritage corn. I mean, there there is like heritage corn or whatever that's like 
or heirloom or whatever is it heirloom not heritage heirloom, heirloom. Tomatoes, right? well heirloom is just anything that isn't like the the wild is that like what that means yeah like heirloom corn is just like corn seeds that have not been contaminated with uh what we consider corn now which is the the like yellow like that yellow stalk i don't know i don't know if that's naturally occurring that might be like a monsanto invention uh, yeah it might be and and yeah the ancient watermelon also looks crazy it's not red no it's like white or something kind of right i'll, I'll look it up yogurt i gotta put you down it's, it's like so orange sweet, mother or yellow i'm gonna wash all this cat off my face what I mean, there there might be one that's or there might be one that's red. I want to eat all these fruits now. Ooh. Family has a farm where you have purple, yellow, and white corn. Sounds cool. Seeing that something might be bug and shit related. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I think it's it's several things. Like, one, they do want everything to look very uniform and whatever. And two, they also try to breed it so that it's, like, the most um, resistant to, yeah, bugs and all that stuff. Um, but also a lot of that ends up taking out most of, like, the flavor Pulling up some um, and then the, the psycho thing that Monsanto does is like patenting patenting stuff but also making it so that like it's incredibly fertile and then it goes and contaminates like farmers farms miles away and they go and like check and can sue them for growing their patented corn genome or whatever even that's though really like cool their stuff. own yeah well that that's psycho bananas, psycho uh, bananas days are numbered and there's nothing that any of those companies... Oh, bananas about. did go extinct. Yeah, but I think the current banana is also going to go extinct. There's... Because I think all... The way They'll it works figure it is, out again. I think the way like it works is like time. all the bananas of a popular flavor are the exact same genetic makeup, so they just can't resist certain, like, diseases. I don't mm -hmm. know. All right, here, I got some stuff. Wild watermelon. This is a set that... You know what it is, folks. It's the 17th century painting by Giovanni Stanchi. Old watermelons. Our favorites. Somehow they got the lowest, lowest res uh, version of that. I mean, that is weird, yeah. Look at what, what's there next to it, though. Pears. Still looking exactly the same. My day one. Unchanged. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that looks. That looks wrong. Okay. Over time, humans have bred watermelons to have a red, fleshy interior, which is actually the placenta. Okay. Didn't need that. OG nanners here. Corn watermelon tastes like pumpkin. All right, I thought I heard like shouting. It was like a, I think it was like a neighbor. Or that was me. Oh. What is that? That's a, a banana. banana. Wild Oof. banana. First bananas may have been cultivated at least 7,000 years ago. I want to get the eggplant. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's different. What? Wild yeah, carrot. A bit. As a forked root, they lost their purple pigment, became a yellow color. So I guess, yeah, they had other roots coming off of them. Mm, that, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Teosint. Oh, I don't edible. know what that is. That's corn, dog. Well, no, I know. But there's other corns that don't it's look like dry, that. Dry like a better. raw potato. Well, yeah, but this is like saying like 7,000 BC. This is quite some time I mean, ago. I, but I think that's still... 
No, Other that's types what all corn, corn looked like. Okay. okay. They said it's the genetic literacy project says. Kisuda. They didn't. No, nowhere it's in there did it say this is said, what all corn looked like. That's what it said. It's like this is. Okay, I thought it said it. No. No, yeah. According to this infographic by chemistry teacher Jamie Kennedy. Of the Jamie Kennedy project. Okay, I have a question. What about maize? Because I'm looking at this. It says domesticated oh. by indigenous peoples in southern Mexico about 9,000 years ago. So what was... It was this. This is what it looked like. Uh, okay. Because this was 10,000 years ago. Or 9,000 years you ago. You said five. Seven. I said seven, but it was BC, so it's it's nine. Okay, because I'm looking up Zaya or something, which is what they made it from and it, it still is not what you're showing okay, here, me here look so look look at this can someone who knows corn sound off here i got i got this natural okay, corn this? it's like 19 millimeters you peel it by hammering it repeatedly with a hard object you get five to ten very hard kernels okay it's like a very dry raw potato okay mm -hmm now is artificial corn it steam cooks in minutes it's bigger but, no you're making a huge jump and i'm still two thousand years ahead of you i'm in nine thousand bc <laughs> I, oh you're whatever. saying you're saying i'm in seven thousand oh, wait did i late. say nine thousand years ago so maybe we're we're both on the yeah on the money yeah um, i think we're talking about the same time uh-huh Oh, God. oh, here's peaches. The natural peach, oh, 4000 BC. This is how asses have grown as well. Yes. It, very like true. Paleolithic ass. There's nothing like the dumpers we have today. 64% editable flash. It tastes earthy, sweet, sour, and slightly I mean, salty. I'm not against, like, fucking with fruit to make it God's giant and delicious yeah um and playing god yeah. in such a way yeah because if we, could, any if way. we should if we if we can we should yeah i agree mm -hmm. um i guess that's all i have to say okay yeah do you think it's cool yeah, yeah no, i like it now so i'm gonna say like big fruit that's sweet good mm -hmm. agent orange pretty bad the chemical yeah if we're just talking about kind of like okay. what monsanto is kind of gets up to mm -hmm. no they didn't make did they make asian orange i thought um didn't they no what did monsanto i mean oh, am i just they thinking of they pesticides may, they may have but they do make a bunch of like horrible pesticides um who made agent orange it is someone like notable i think uh yeah monsanto dow uh, Dow Chemical maybe was the main one. I don't know. But Monsanto definitely that made it. That sounds... I think Dow is who I'm thinking of. The first farmers were just like Bill Gates in their garage trying to hammer out five to ten hard kernels into a beautiful yellow fruit uh, vegetable. Uh-huh. It's the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I, I think... I think big fruit. I, I like it. I like big. I like big fruit. Well, Dow Chemical is no longer a sponsor of the Olympic Games. What? Yeah. Who is it? There's a. Who is? It? There's an animal that they couldn't feed fruit anymore because of all the sugars. Zoo no fruit. No fruit. What? Zoos stop. So there are some zoos that had to stop feeding their animals fruit, specifically red pandas, because the sugar content, it was just like giving them so, so much high. tooth decay. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, I was the other day, I was like driving to work and eating an apple, and I was like, man, this is delicious. And I was like, you know, I really only have that kind of thought about things that are in some way actually kind of bad for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sure that it's been artificially given so much sugar. Uh, Will there be a new fruit? There will be a new fruit. 
the meta is gonna let's change. see what kind of yeah let me see if there's any new fruit dropping new fruit coming soon 2024 blocks blocks fruits it's a game blocks blocks fruits blocks fruits what is this it seems like a child's game what maybe roblox fruit battleground um i think that's a new That's apple all is you headed can... to Washington Orchards with a naming contest planned in 2024. That sounds like it's right up our alley. Yes, it does. Researchers from Washington State University shared information about WA64. Well, I mean, I guess, why, change, why mess with greatness? That's a great name. It's a cross between Honeycrisp and Crips Pink Apples. Um, okay. So a, a beautiful... Uh, a beautiful coming togetherness between the Bloods is Honeycrisp and the Crips is Pink Apples at mm -hmm. last week's Washington State Tree Fruit Association meeting. The Sweet Tart Apple could hit orchards in 2026 and supermarkets in 2029, presenters said. My goodness, that's extraordinary. So it was first crossbred in 98 and it's been researched extensively for more than two decades. What? Why? Like it's medicine? Well, you, don't want to put, you don't want to put out like an apple and then find out after it's out there that it gives people like... I don't know. But there's long-term side one. effects. Yeah. <laughs> People generally f favor the apple. That's interesting. Oh wow! Wow! Look at this. Now this is the. This People is seem it. to have liked it. People seem to have liked it quite a bit. So if you had kind of a loose pile of them, it would measure about this much. Sure. Yeah, I got a good idea of the size of a loose pile. Some cut, some uncut. <laughs> this different is, shapes. Of the if cut. you're like, what have they been doing for, like, going on thirty years? And it's like, yeah. Well, the proof is in the pudding. It's mostly measuring uh, piles of apples. Right, because like, you measure one apple. Mm -hmm. Easy. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's however many millimeters. Um. Even like two apples, you can kind of, at a certain point, sort of extrapolate. Well, if this is the average size of one apple, however many, you know, you could tell you how many it would take to reach the moon. But sure. small piles can take so many different shapes and sizes. And that, it's really time consuming trying to really divine all of the ways you can make a small pile of something. And that's where most of the research went, you think? Yeah, probably. Okay. Here's a good quote to end the article. It's from um, who's Evans, Patrick? Kate Evans, a uh, professor, a base, professor based or based professor, you wonder, at WSU's Tree Fruit, Fruit Research and Extension Center in Wenatchee. Did, did you ask me who Evans was? <clears throat> yeah, but I control F, so I found it. Quote: We've. What are you talking about? Quote, I don't. Why would I know that? <laughs> I don't know. It's a shot in the dark. It would have been really incredible if you did, right? Do you I mean, not want me to keep yeah, throwing you sure, these? Sure, You know, but... listen. I'm gonna keep throwing you fastballs. One of these days, you're gonna hit it out of the park, and you're gonna thank me. You want me to lob you no, softballs? Yeah. What's an apple? Where's Washington State? No, I'm saying who's Evans. And if yeah, you had told Evan? me, yeah. and if you I'd had, say, had locked, you looked up for a second and went, oh, you mean Kate Evans? The uh -huh. professor based at WSU's Tree Fruit Research and Extension Center in Wenatchee. Uh, Which, of course, I would never, ever in a million wouldn't, years now. You wouldn't, but I'm yeah. throwing, I'm throwing 98, 99, some, some like triple digit heaters right over the plate, in the zone, yeah. and you're not, you didn't even swing. You struck out looking. I, I guess so. I anyway, mean, I Evans, just... Kate says, we're really trying to get consumers to eat apples. And if we get better apples, people will eat more of them. Uh huh. Could probably be said okay. about pretty much any kind of product if you just swap out you know, a couple words here and there. Yeah, if we yeah. We get better X, then people will blank more of them. Uh huh. Well. Yeah, if you give people a blank. And that was written by Jasper Sundin. For the Yakima Herald Republic. We're so clearly, so clearly at the end of the stream where you're just naming names. <laughs> there have been way names. lower energy ends of streams than that.
No, but I, it's it's a pretty you know Here's when, how it, the when it's come down to that. ice removal in Yakima. <laughs> this isn't yeah, another no, Jasper no. joint, is it? It's Definitely not. This is Kane end, Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Yakima? I'm assuming Washington. Return to Quincy. Yeah, probably. Okay. Is return to Quincy its own thing? Oh, well, they got a toxic. They uncovered a toxic truth in the fertilizer industry. Wow, that's huge. But it's gonna have to wait until next week. Oh, maybe we should read opinion opinion columns in in weird papers. Like, like uh, yeah, small regional papers. <laughs> Eldo, Why is Newhouse so it? worried about grizzlies? <laughs> Why? Why is Newhouse and then the, the, and then underneath it? Why is Newhouse so worried about grizzlies? These are a lot of. Letters. That is kind of like one of my one of my dreams when I was younger, um, which is like no longer even possible. I don't even think it's a job anymore. Was to work in like kind of like public access um, television. I think that would have been like the coolest, weirdest job. Um, and I, yeah, like I said, I don't think it exists at all anymore, but I do think it'd be also working for like a small city paper, but like, it's not, it's not the worst either. No, I think that's pretty I think funny. Also though, doing it with like a full, like Jimmy Olsen, like affectation where you, mm -hmm. you've, you've got a lot of, you're a go get hey. <laughs> Now Let's listen, see. I'm trying to get the scoop. You know, mm -hmm. you're outside. And Superman's your friend. Yes. Superman tops you. <laughs> Superman dominates. That was with their, that was their relationship, right? Pretty sure. Okay. Well, because on Krypton, it that's just guy stuff. Well, I but think under the Jimmy light Olsen of the was... yellow sun, it's homosexual. I could be wrong. Yes, yes, but I think um, Jimmy Olsen was their sub and both of them um uh superman and lois lane i think they had they kept him as a sub kind of oh uh, he would sleep under their bed <laughs> oh and, under the bed yeah huh? did they have a high yeah. bed not really no oh, okay. um they had like he had like a dog bed under their bed <laughs> that he would sleep in no, and, like, he was collared right he was kenneled slats. actually he had a kennel next to their bed <laughs> it's like <laughs> you thought oh, you thought i was saying that someone got a new clown <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> they're getting a clown. The they're family next clown. door is getting a new clown. Dude, you're getting a clown, <laughs> and it's then it's a the the Dell guy leading a clown in on a leash to a family's <laughs> living room. <laughs> there's that. There's that. Um, the the dude, the tenacious D dude. Dude, you're getting a clown. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like winning a cereal sweepstakes. You, you know and a I friend can win a clown. That dude thing, it's not just Tenacious D. There's two there's actually two sources for it. And this is just the way I say dude sometimes when I that I think is funny to anyone yeah. who's not Charlotte, who's maybe listening. There's also like have you seen the South Park movie? Mm, which one? The one where they go it's to like, the like fantasy land? No, like the original the theatrical oh, the movie. No, I don't I don't know movie. if I have, well, I don't know. I watched a lot of South Park for a minute. Yeah. So it, it's a it's a musical like it's a full on musical, yeah. Um, and but like I don't know I when I was in like sixth or seventh grade or something I, I had this either I had it or someone I knew had the soundtrack, and there was a song on there that was like the song about the the figure skater, Brian Boitano or whatever, which is like a song in the movie. Okay. There was like a version that they recorded that was like a just like this goofy rock pirate song kind of, <laughs> and uh -huh. at one point one of them goes. Dude, Brian, don't eat those spicy. Don't eat those chicken wings. They're really spicy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's one of those things that's like in my head, dude. in the back. <laughs> Constant. Same with, I mean, same with the that tenacious D thing. Like, meet me and JB at Los Burritos for some rude chow, dude. <laughs> like, it's. <laughs> Both it's one of those things that like just like works kind of, its, it works it's, its this, way in. It's like whenever yeah, it, whenever I say nothing, and then I'm like, don't, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. do your nothing one French. thing. Nothing French. Yeah. <laughs> but I have the, the like, dude, is the same thing. Uh, it's and it's just the way a word is pronounced. Dude, it's the funniest fucking thing to me. It's got a and, lot of verb and vigor. Yeah, and it's it's very like. 
I, I feel like it says a lot about who's saying it. Like, it's very friendly, but concerned. <laughs> um, it's, it's very yeah. it's very familiar, but it never actually feels like you're talking to someone you know. It's, it's, it's always inviting like something that's, in a way that, that you don't have yeah, to do it. But but the I, I think it's because it, there's like a certain amount of distance in the way it's said because you're not using a name. You're just saying, dude. Dude. But also, it's not. You're not saying dude, and because there, because there's like some concern to it, it makes me think like you would just say the person's name if you. I don't know. Like, it's, it's it's like it's my cellar door. You know the like Tolkien thing, or whatever. No, you lost me. I don't know. I think Tolkien said that cellar door is like the most beautiful. The like phrase in the english language or something i don't know okay. well it's i mean like he wrote great books but he was probably a little like shell-shocked that. after of course he was in world war ii or yeah. one um but it's that for me it's something i think about constantly come on all right well let's raid someone <sighs> yeah yeah gaze upon the um. child Sorry. What are we doing? Who are we raiding? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. If there's a stream for big guy, that would probably be the best option. Let me see talk about talk about big guy. Oh, yogurt. This is Christ. It just happened. Uh, I have the mic on like a little stand here on the desk and she rubs, rubbing her face against it to mark it and almost knock the entire thing off. And the bass is very heavy. Someone suggested we raid Mega 64, <laughs> which is, it's funny to me because we don't know them. We don't know them at um, all. At yeah. all. Uh, no, we could raid like Tay or uh, Andy, Bruce. Do you want to? Do you, do you want to do, is Sasha Gray streaming? Do you want to do your joke? Oh, let me check. Yes. <laughs> um, let's raid. What's Tay doing? Uh, Overwatch Two. She's such a streamer. She's such a such a gamer. I I'm we know tell people you. that are actually like on this site to do. I think what, what it's the for. site was for. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're saying this is how we introduce ourselves to Mega 64. I feel like there's way easier ways to introduce. Like probably I could through probably Eric. through Eric, or yeah. I think James knows them. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's an easier way if we really wanted to get into. Hey, they're great. They're great. Very funny. That's another thing that was kind of wormed its way into my head was that video of him like the like if you bring the cup of Christ the King to any Christian business, you get free refills. <laughs> <laughs> I think I showed you that. <laughs> yeah, it was like a tick. It was like a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> right because it's like it's like made as a like a food hack fast food hack yeah 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 it's very funny okay let's get out of here all right let's um let's read what do we say tay let's do it okay say a big what's up say suey games suey. Don't say, don't, say that. That. don't say that don't say that don't say that don't be weird don't be weird be on your best um, behavior okay say hello be normal and give her a warm welcome from be, us be All normal right. bye everybody cordial <laughs>